Hey guys. So today um I have an outing with my friends. We finished tests yesterday. We call it quiz here. So we finished quiz yesterday and just I don't know how I I think we will say planning this thing like before the quiz started. So yeah, today is finally the day for the outing and I swarmed. I couldn't really work because I was taking tests. You know, so I kind of have a lot of things on my plate. I'm not going to cancel on them, obviously, but I'm just like, I mean, it's almost time to start preparing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to vlog the way like I wanted to. Do you understand? So um, let's just see how it goes. I'm just going to wrap up work very, very shortly and get back to when I come back. Yeah, nobody will beat me. See, I'm just going to do that. I don't mind me and. Then I'm going to get ready. It might not be like the whole. I wanted to get ready with me video, but I don't think it's going to be feasible. I'm just. I know that after now, like this is the only time I'm going to be so chill. Like I know that after now, I'm going to start rushing. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just telling you guys beforehand. In case you see from here to the restaurant that we're going to. Yeah, by the way, I, we're going to a restaurant, but like we have other plans and i don't want to disclose because we're not even sure of like the things that we want to do so when we get there when we see how things are like we'll just you know know if like do you understand so i'm not going to say so much right now just stay tuned and yeah see ya <laughs> Guys, I told you I'm going to start rushing like for the rest of the video so i've had my bath and now i just want to you know prepare Yes, I'm going for a very simple, like, very simple look. Oh, have you seen my hair? This new hair. Eh, God, where's my hook? Where's the hook of my hair? Oh my God, this is not the time. This is not the time. Hey, let's look. Where's my dollar? Where's my dollar? Where's my hair? Okay, I'll just stole the hook from another one entirely. So this should do. I look like a mad person, God. Okay, look, it's not even function. Get this out of here. Got this hair. Why didn't you pull it gloss? I don't see something there. Ah. Yes, there's a something in there. Okay, so that's no more. Like, no more. Call, I think you even braided your head because that would have been another issue. Hey. 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 I don't even know what's real, my dear. Why are you running away? Oh, this is so lovely. Thank you. Hey. Are you tying scarf? No, I'm going to run with Sorry. Okay, because of the edges. Yeah, because of the edges. You need to make me a pack. Read up. Okay, you're even videoing yourself. Hi. Hi. <laughs> that is babo. See my purse. Yeah. You, do you need your glasses? No, I don't. I don't have those. I don't need to my airport. Uh, yes, my airport. Then let me wear my clothes back. We're finished now. I finished though. Then spray pen. What does this mean? What's inside your bag? Just 
just ATM card, then normal pocket. Um, Guys, this girl ready with me is not getting and ready. It's <laughs> not getting ready with me. <laughs> Down, but like, yeah. We're ready, per. Guys, I made it. I made it. If we just have to make any decision. All right, guys. Just a quick disclaimer: the next clip you're about to see is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, guys. Okay, so I just made this video so that I can put a little bit of context to what actually went down, right? so <laughs> it's so funny guys it's really funny but yeah i don't want you to be watching and like you will not get like what's going on so i just had to you know add this clip on here so that you would really understand what really transpired okay so um i got dressed got ready me and my friends you know hit the road okay we didn't hit the road we had not even hit the road properly before you know the whole thing that happened happened Mm, okay so the way it works in my school i don't know when the arrangements are i don't even know what that whole thing is about but i just know that shuttles that run on campus are not allowed to run off campus something like that and then shuttles that run off campus are not allowed to run on campus so there is that very little weird arrangement they have with the security people now my business i don't even have like the full idea of what that is about but yeah i think um i got the whole gist about it that day okay so we got ready we got a shuttle that runs on campus to come take us because my friends and i except one of our friends that stay off campus but the rest of us we stay on campus right and we wanted to use um transport to get to the venue we're going to so we got a shuttle that runs on campus to come pick us up from our lodges i stay alone i stay like in this lodge and then my friends they stay in another lodge so we got a shot to the rooms on campus to come pick us up right to take us off campus that was the arrangement that was the plan we got into the shot too we got going and then we um, got close to the school gate and then the driver was like oh we should come down and trek like just walk outside walk outside the gate and then he'll come join us there like so that he'll go out empty do you understand so that they will see him carrying students outside like that whole arrangement i explained i tried to explain because i really don't even understand the whole thing but yeah so we're like okay no problem so we got down you know to leg it outside you know to wait for the guy to come and join us okay so yeah before i go like into like what happened first off i want to just address that the security people like at the gates of my school i'm like i'm trying my best not to like insult these people but they are the most incompetent people in the world they do not even know what they were hired to do they don't know their job description i don't think they really ran them through the jd like when they gave them when they appointed them you know as security men because they don't even know the meaning of security if there's chaos in this school they will never be there and then they just come to do the very thing that like they never paid them for the very thing they're not even paying them for the very thing they never asked them to do like they just always want to do crap and I've, i have this beef with them because i've had so many weird experiences with them all they know how to do is to start students to harass you for no just cause imagine one day right i was coming into school and i was on a call like i mean i'm just on a call i'm not blind i can see where i'm going to and then this will start harassing me that i should go back i should not come inside their school and cause accident and um while i'm on a call because i was in a call yeah that while i'm on a call i'm not um focused on the road so i can cause chaos i can cause accidents like just capping trash and all of this is just to extort you at the end of the day it's just so you should you should drop money like all the times i've had issues with these people like i'm always just in haste i'm always maybe rushing off campus or rushing back on campus so i don't really used to have your time if you say to them i'll say to them i'll just go like so you can imagine the kind of built up anger the kind of suppressed anger i had you know against these people so when i got out from the shuttle i was like ha, let me pull down my top because these people at the gates they don't cease to harass people for nonsense i literally said it like as if i knew that it was going to happen i said it so when we we're going outside this i said like one of the security men said shouting that hey 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 always like shouting like a dog and then i was like bruh if this guy is trying to stop me i promise you i will fight that is what i was saying in my mind and i was and i was acting like i couldn't hear them or i couldn't see them so i was just doing my own thing and walking outside and they were like hey 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 and stuff 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 and like <laughs> i thought 
it was me i promise you i thought it was me but i was just for them to like come closer you know i was not going to answer hey because my name is not hey in the first place so i was just going out <laughs> before i knew it but i realized it wasn't me that this we were talking to it was my friend behind me which was the most confusing thing in fact i'm going to show you i'll show you the clip so you'll see what she was on it was so confusing because i was like what is wrong with her dressing it doesn't even make any sense just what they tried to accuse her of i think of the top being a crop top but they couldn't go with that story because it made no sense my friend put on joggers and she tried like she made sure that she put it up so her stomach wasn't even showing at all so they cannot even say it's cropped up so they switched from that story to start saying that oh her cleavage her breast was showing and all that i was like which breast like not i'm going to show you the clip guys like i'm going to show you the clip it did not make any sense to me and I think because I had this thing against them already on a normal day, like I had this suppressed anger already. I was like, you know what? I'm going to unleash. But no, <laughs> I don't think it was only about that. Okay. I don't think, but anyway, in hindsight, I mean, we should have just settled with them, right? As per usual, and just go to wherever we're going to, and you know, not just have our day ruined. But. For some very weird reasons i was like no i'm not letting this one go today like these people need to be taught a lesson i don't know why i did that i have no idea <laughs> i have no idea why that happened but like it was just embarrassing it was annoying and um yeah because I, I was only hearing them say that she should and th this is what they always do that put on your red number put on your name that this and that they'll start threatening you and all of that crap like who the hell do you think you are you know so i heard them telling my friend to i think write a letter who had written about this nonsense and like everything was just annoying you know i was like <laughs> i was like no these people are going to be taught a lesson today i'm going to let you people know that these things you do do not make sense this is not why they kept you here you're security open and close the gates keep us safe do security guys shit do you understand like don't come and be harassing people for nonsense so yeah as you must have felt in this very moment i took up the fight <laughs> i took up the fight guys i was so angry i was so pressed and like i did not even care my phone they almost broke my phone like multiple times but i didn't even care so i carried the old math down with my head and elongated it more than i should have not my proudest moment but will i set somebody straight next time yeah you best believe i'm going to like i am because some of these people do not even know what they are called to do like they don't even know what they are supposed to do in the difference like people just take advantage of little positions that they give them to feel like they are the king of kings to feel like they are you know untouchable to feel like they are so powerful like they don't understand their job that's pretty much it so guys that is what happened and the next clip you're going to see now is that clip this is your breast that they, this is the breast that they said you're showing this is the breast that is showing this is what they are using to say in the same dress breast breast and whatever this is my friend though this is the breast that they are looking for and these are the security people on duty that are saying that she's showing breast and he wants to beat me with stick. Beat me with the stick. Don't touch me. Leave this here. Eh. So guys, as I said, after everything, these people still collected money and God knows that I would never have. I just had to step aside. If not, I'd have elongated the matter because I was not even ready to leave yet. <laughs> oh God. Your, let me tell you your title of your YouTube video. A chaos, I mean a chaos. A chaos, chaotic, 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 chaotic. I swear. He was telling me delete the video. Delete which video? They which not content? Which content? Which content? No, no, no. I said, who is that one? That guy is so shy because he just came from. I was like, where did you come from? Where did he come from? That one I was very shy. Kim said, how did he check inside the matter? He said he came to airport. Airport was for me. Yes, tell them. You should call me for your battles. Call me for your battles. <laughs> yep so the vlog can now continue went to pick up queen b who's the only person that stays off campus and we hit the road for real this time guys for real this time <laughs> so we decided to go to zara's stores because he had pretty much everything that we wanted to do on this day i'd been here before and i knew they had a lift but your girl is scared of heights and i wasn't done gathering my morale yet <laughs> 
So we got to the restaurant on the rooftop and got a spot to sit. Take a look at my beautiful friends, y'all. <laughs> So the first activity was the VR games while some of us were taking pictures, making videos and even gisting. After that, we went ahead to order because we were so hungry. Before we knew it, Queen Bee's husband came to surprise her like he was so cute. Apparently this day was their marriage anniversary I think. And so that's how she went with her husband and she didn't even follow us for the next activity which was the movie that we went to see. I think the movie we saw was Last Call, yeah. It was a very nice movie, like I never even expected it. What's the book from me? By the time we were done with the movie, Quimby and her husband asked us to meet them at another location, guys. And I thought the day was already over, but it was just starting. We made a quick stop to get Shawarma from 048. I'll always make a quick stop at 048 whenever I go to Oka. This kind love. This kind love. Look at me. Why are you shy? <laughs> From O48, we went to the next location. Guys, I kid you not. I knew that Oka had nightlife, but not like this, as it everywhere was so crowded. It was crazy. <laughs> Man, this day was such a day. I had so much fun and it was my first time taking Isewu. Well, I don't know if it will ever be my go-to, to be very honest. When we were done, it was already pretty late, so Quimbe and her husband dropped us off at our various lodges. This brings us to the end of this chaotic vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye!